In his small apartment in Haifa, 29-year-old Mol Janashvili is on the slow path to recovery after the physical and mental ordeal of a horrific lynch attack by an Arab mob while driving to his mother's home in Acre. I got hit with a rain of bricks, rocks, furniture, everything they had. I couldn't see anything. I only heard booms. After hitting the wall with my car, I understood if I don't get out, they will burn me alive, because their goal was to kill. I began to run, but fell. They hit me, and I lost consciousness. Luckily, Fadi, a professional nurse from the neighborhood, was there. When I arrived with the local sheikh, they retreated because they respect him. Fadi was able to provide critical first aid until the ambulance arrived. I saw he had head injuries here and here. I tried to stop the bleeding. Mol was taken to hospital, the same hospital Fadi works in, so he decided to pay him a visit. I told him, you are the one who saved me because he defended me, protected me, and treated me. He gave me the first aid that stopped the bleeding. Thanks to him and God, I'm still here. Fadi now regularly visits Mol, who receives well wishes from Fadi's mom as well. <laughs> but Mol's mother is not easily consoled. Tending for her son in Haifa, she's unwilling to return home to Acre. <laughs> Her son is also skeptical, but has some hope. If people act like Fadi, there will be coexistence. The problem is, people who hurt the other because he's Jewish or Arab, it doesn't matter. They destroy the coexistence, and it's a shame. I said it back in 2008. We went through something similar. After a month, a month and a half, the coexistence came back. The cooperation between Jews and Arabs, it shows we will get through it this time as well. God willing. A crowdfunding campaign has raised $40,000 for Moore's recovery, but that will not solve some of the complex identity issues underlying the violence that erupted in Israel's mixed cities.